Hey everybody, I'm Josh Welsh, and on behalf of Film Independent, I want to welcome you to the 2014 Spirit Award nominee brunch. Woo! Um, so today we are here to celebrate you, the nominees of this year's Spirit Awards, and all the beautiful work that you brought to the screen this year. Um, there are some important people here with us today who right away I want to start off by thanking for their generous support. Thank you, first of all, to our premier sponsors, Piaget, the Lincoln Motor Company, and IFC, and to our principal sponsor, Stella Artois. We cannot clap too much for these folks. I also want to thank our hospitality host for today, Boa Restaurant, and also our thanks to Dark Horse, the official wine of the 2014 Spirit Awards. Please, a big round of applause for all of these people. I also want to take a moment to thank the nominating committees who spent the better part of the last three months watching and discussing your films. You know, every year we hear from the committee members how inspiring it is to watch the films and talk about them and have a debate about what, what the year in film was. Um, but let's face it, it's an insane amount of work that they do and they do it voluntarily and I thank them so much. This year we had 43 nominating committee members and they watched 327 of your films. So thanks to all of them and especially to the committee chairs who, uh, who kept things together. I also want to thank the film independent staff who oversee the nomination process each year, especially Maggie McKay, Jen Murphy, Jen Wilson, and Kadi Kamakate. The amount of work that these guys do is astounding, so thank you. And I also want to thank Kati for producing today's lovely brunch. Um, to all the first-time nominees here today, I do want to tell you just a little bit about Film Independent. Film Independent, we produce the Spirit Awards, of course, but we're also here to support you year-round. Our mission is to champion creative independence in visual storytelling and to support a community of artists who embody diversity, innovation, and uniqueness of vision, which all of you do. Uh, we do that through our year-round programs, our artist development and education programs, as well as through the Spirit Awards, the Los Angeles Film Festival, and Film Independent at LACMA. Now, all of this is made possible by our sponsors and by our year-round con contributors, including our art circle. I know many of our Art Circle members are here today, so I just want to give a special shout out to you guys and say thank you so much. More applause. So please, filmmakers, long after the Spirit Awards are over, know that we are here to support you all year long. This year, the LA Film Festival is celebrating its 20th anniversary, June 11th to the 19th, downtown at LA Live, so please come. If you have films, please submit them. We want to see them. I think our deadline is February the 14th. Uh, okay, now I want to thank and introduce our hosts for today's event. Emily Mortimer is a past Spirit Award winner for her performance in Lovely and Amazing. Her work includes, that's right. Her work includes such films as Lars and the Real Girl, Hugo, Shutter Island, and Match Point. And she currently stars in HBO's The Newsroom. Alessandra Nivola has starred in many independent films, including Lisa Cholodenko's Laurel Canyon, which earned him a Spirit Award nomination, Coco Before Chanel, Junebug, and Mansfield Park, to list but a few. And he can currently be seen in American Hustle. And together, Alessandra and Emily recently completed their first project for their new company, King Bee Productions, a six-part television series titled Doll and M, co-starring and written by Emily and produced by Alessandro, which is set to air this March on HBO. So yes. Okay. And the honorary chair of this year's Spirit Awards, who really needs no introduction, but I'm gonna try it anyway. She's an Academy Award and Emmy Award nominated actress whose breakthrough performance as Tina Turner in What's Love Got to Do With It won her a Golden Globe. She's known for her many dramatic roles in film, television, and on stage and currently is starring in the FX show American Horror Story Coven, which along with her performance as Coretta Scott King in Betty and Coretta garnered two NAACP Image Award nominations in the same category. 
She can also be seen in Casey Lemon's Black Nativity, as well as the upcoming film White Bird in a Blizzard for director Greg Araki. And she will soon start working on the suspense thriller Survivor with Mila Jovovich and Emma Thompson. There is nothing that this amazing actress can't do, and we are so honored to welcome her here today to the Film Independent family. Please welcome our 2014 Spirit Award Honorary Chair, Angela Bassett. He tried to help me, thank you. You know, Independent Spirit Awards, Independent Woman. Oh, forgive me, all right. But good morning, good morning. I'm honored to be here among so many creative and talented people. And I'd like to welcome all of this year's nominees to the Spirit Awards family. You know, the show on the beach and this brunch here are kind of like an annual family reunion. And it couldn't be more true than this year. This year, close to 50% of the nominees have been nominated before or won previously. For example, the Cohen brothers won their first Spirit Award in 1986 for Blood Simple. And the star of that also won that year, M. Emmett Walsh, who is also in the house tonight. He was brilliant. The Cohen brothers are nominated again this year for Inside Lewin Davis. Yolanda Ross was nominated for her debut performance in 2002 for Stranger Inside and is nominated again this year for Best Supporting Female for her role in Go For Sisters. So you may see a lot of familiar faces, but for everyone, both alumni and freshmen, we encourage you to take time to meet the fellow nominees who have gathered here. It's an incredible community, and your nomination alone makes you an immediate member of this very, very warm family. And I'm sure we, as I'm sure we all do, I look forward to seeing your films and to celebrating your magnificent work on, in March during the ceremony. So let's see. Let's raise a toast. Ah. Ready? This is why it's so relaxed, huh? Well, one of the reasons. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone on your nomination and your work. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Say that for me. <laughs> okay, now it's time to give away our three film independent filmmaker grants. Each one of these awards comes with a 25,000 unrestricted grant, which means, pay your bills now, which means we're about to give away $75,000. So let's get started. The first grant is the Producers Award sponsored by Piaget. This award honors producers who despite limited resources, have the tenacity and the talent needed to produce quality independent films. And for that, I am very grateful. Celebrated for their body of work, the finalists are Toby Halbrooks and James Johnston. Jacob, Ge oh yes, Toby and James. Jacob Jaffke, thank you Jacob. Andrea Roa, yes and Frederick Thornton. Thank you. The Piaget Producers Award goes to Toby Howe Brooks and James Johnston. Come on, say a word. Speak to the people. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so very much. You might want to have that little memento. Are we supposed to say something? Yeah. Thank you so very, very much. Um, uh, being nominated is awfully strange, especially when you're, we know all the people that were nominated with us and we know how hard it is and how hard we work. And it feels arbitrary, kind of, between the four of us that were nominated, but we are very grateful to get it. And we couldn't obviously do it without um, our partners, namely David Lowry, Yen Tan, and Shane Carruth, who, Collectively, we made Ain't Them Body Saints, Upstream Color, and Pit Stop with. Um, you find good partners and you stick with them, and, and that's what we're doing from Texas, and it's working so far. Yes, thank you to um, uh, P Piaget, right? <laughs> uh, for uh, first, uh, 
sponsoring this uh, fine award. Thank you to, uh, to Film Independence uh, for even having, even thinking about producers. It's really nice of you guys to uh, have a special category for us. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we, uh, we just got in yesterday from Texas and now we got all this money, so it's pretty, <laughs> pretty amazing. <laughs> um, and uh, we just couldn't be happier. Uh, and I you know, appreciate all of you guys being here and, and watching us uh, not curse on the stage. So, thank you. <laughs> all right, now to present the other Filmmaker Awards, the wonderfully talented Emily Mortimer and Alexandro Navola. <laughs> Independent oh, Spirit Awards have meant such a lot to both of us over the years, and most of the films that we've been proudest of have been celebrated here. Um, in fact, the, the last time that I had to stand at a podium in front of a Spirit Awards audience was to collect M's award for Lovely and Amazing, which was a very important film for her and um, a defining moment in her career. She was in Scotland uh, filming, and so she wrote a speech down for me to deliver on her behalf, just in case she won. But she was so convinced that she wasn't going to win that she filled the speech with jokes about her pubic hair, <laughs> <laughs> which I uh, faithfully read out word by word. I'm so glad I wasn't there to read it myself. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that it, it, it's pretty hard to scandalize the Spirit Awards, but I, I think that I did manage to do it on that day. The fact is that the movies that are celebrated every year at the, these awards are consistently our favorites, and it's always so exciting and such a relief to come to the ceremony and look around and realize that you're actually part of a community of really interesting, talented, original-minded people and that you're not just some lose bag actor desperately clinging on for dear life, which is how you feel most of the time. Uh, the movies nominated by Film Independent this year all have ambition far beyond the fact that anyone can make a movie. And, it's that, it's, and if that's what Manola Douglas is complaining about, she certainly isn't referring to anyone in this room. While these films will have lives in many different formats, they all dare to be big and beautiful and surprising enough to be projected up onto a 30-foot screen. They all deserve to be seen in a movie theater. So, we honor the honorees and nominees, and we want you to know that we're so honored to be here amongst such brilliant people as you all are. And now for our next award, the Someone to Watch Award um, honors a promising director who, in addition to having a great talent and singular vision, made an extraordinary film on a very limited budget. And the finalists are Aaron Douglas Johnston, director of My Sister's Quinceanera, Shaka King, director of Newlyweeds. And Madeline Olneck, director of The Foxy Merkins. Talking of pubic hair. And the Someone to Watch Award goes to Shaka King. I needed this so bad right now, but no. Um, I got to uh, recognize my, my guys, Mike and uh, Jim, my producers on this movie. And Bangkok and Navi was not here, but Mike and Jim are here. And they're hidden behind that leaf camouflage thing. But where are you guys? I, I got to see y'all. Where y'all at? Oh, they're in the back, waving the towel. Those guys just, you know. I um, want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and uh, my cast, obviously, who's not here, but Amari Cheatham, 
uh, who, like, please put him in your movies because he's amazing. Uh, Trey Harris and th the whole ensemble. And, uh, you know, I want to thank Film Independent um, for, like, sustaining me for the next year. Um, <laughs> and uh, the, who, who's, I don't even know who sponsored this award, which is, oh, Film, Film Independent. Independent. Oh, so I didn't even got to shout out nobody else. <laughs> um, and then I, I also, uh, I really want to thank, even though then I hear my family, because they've like fed me for the last year, and my mother, my father, I wish I'm going to call them immediately, and my aunt, and everybody, you know, just thank you very much. This is like amazing, so thank you. The Truer Than Fiction Award, sponsored by Stella Artois, honors an emerging director of nonfiction features who has not yet received significant recognition. The finalists are Kehlani Mam, director of A River Changes Course. Jason Osder, director of Let the Fire Burn. And Stephanie Spray and Pacho Velez, directors of Manacamana. The Stella Artois Truer Than Fiction Award goes to Jason Osder. Uh, well, thank you very much. I, uh, I've been traveling with the film. I lost my voice a little bit. You'll have to forgive me. But um, I have to uh, definitely thank the other creative principals on the film. My editor, Nels Bangeter, who's here today, did an amazing job. And uh, the composer, when you do an archival film, there's not that many creative principals. It's cool. The composer, Christopher Mangum, the executive producer, Andrew Hurwitz, and all the people at Film Sales Company, all the people at Zeitgeist, and of course, the George Washington University, where I teach, and they support my filmmaking. Um, it's just great to get an award like this because it means the film will reach more people. And one of the cliches they say in documentaries, you don't really know the film you made until you screen it with audiences and then they explain it to you. And, and for me, I was surprised. I thought, I, I, early on, uh, knowledgeable people said, this film can do good things in communities and you can take it places. It can help people heal and solve situations. And I, I, I hadn't seen the film with audiences and I didn't know what they meant. And then I started to see it and, and realized that the film could have a really positive effect. A theory you think about, but when you actually see it with your film, it's quite remarkable. So this will allow me to continue that process and more people to be changed by it. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. And to Stella, which I happen to love Stella, so this is amazing. So congratulations to all the grant winners and nominees. Don't forget to tell your friends and family to watch the Spirit Awards, Saturday, March 1st on IFC at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific Time, hosted by the amazing Patton Oswalt. See you at the beach.